Hi, this is Ali Shanmo, and in this video, I'm going to introduce the new OSD. Uh, just got it from BEVRC.com. This is called the Storm OSD. First of all, let me just introduce the components, uh, and then we will talk about some of the features. Okay, this is a DIY type OSD, so it has its uh, cables, all right, supplied, a GPS antenna, an OSD module itself you can see the small airplane made on it that means the no, uh, the forward direction it should be placed to the forward direction of uh, uh, air, aircraft that you're going to use it has a current sensor and a setup module all right DIY type means you have to install your own connectors on current sensor and you have to put it in a box or just use a shrink wrap around it, okay, as you like, and connect it and install it. Now, let's talk about the features of this OSD. Why there's an airplane mod uh, icon on this one pointing, and why we say that it should be pointed to the nose direction of your aircraft. Well, it is because this one has a built-in stabilization system and built-in autopilot. That means it has the features of manual flight mode, stabilization flight mode, and also it has the features of return to launch or return to home RTH features at the same time. And also you can actually set the height, uh, the altitude when the RTH is activated using the uh, simple menu features using this uh, setup module. So you can actually set like uh, 100 meter to 500 meter altitude. So whenever RTH activated, the plane will maintain the set altitude and return to launch and it starts circling over your head. Now this is a very, very good feature and the altitude hold is also activated uh, as soon as you activate the stabilization. So it will actually note down what is the current altitude and keep your plane following uh, the current altitude, the maintain the current altitude on stabilization mode. So you can actually focus on enjoying the FPV rather than flying. Now um, I'm gonna install this system very very soon on my Skywalker which is actually sitting and I will get the FY31 AP out. Yes, now the thing is when you are using this uh, OSD, Strom OSD, you do not have to buy a separate autopilot system that is like uh, FY31 AP and you can save the cost that is number one number two you can save lots of cables going from receiver to autopilot autopilot to servers and then uh, more cables for the OSD now only this OSD with the video system will connect and it will also connect to your uh, receiver using these ports and you will save cost weight cables all of them in a sense. Uh, this one uses only, uh, you can see, aileron in and elevator in and ele aileron and elevator out. It has a mode switch that will switch the flight modes from normal uh, altitude hold and RTH, okay. It has RSSI out as well, so you can see that. And also you can switch the uh, OSD modes from fighter plane, that means lots of lots of information on the screen and a simple mode for those who just like some simple information on the screen. This is the uh, Storm OSD's fighter mode or full uh, telemetry mode on the OSD. You can see it has a RSSI voltage displayed heading, uh, it has a GPS signals, your trip meter, okay. It has a pitch angle, roll angle, and at the right side it also shows you altitude, home point na navigation arrow, speed at the left side, and then you have the power battery voltage, power battery current, MH consume counter, ground distance to home, video system voltage, flight timer, and variometer, which is a very, very good feature uh, for us to see how, uh, how fast we are climbing or dec decrease uh, descending. Now, uh, this is the simple mode, you can see, uh, you have the GPS, pitch angle, roll, roll angle, trip meter, RSSI voltage, home arrow, flight mode, uh, heading, power battery, power current, uh, voltage of the video system, power battery voltage, variometer speed and altitude. So you can see uh, the simple mode and flight mode, uh, the OSD's uh, fighter mode, I would say, or full telemetry mode, which it's uh, 
uh, selectable so if you like the fighter mode fly it in this mode or if you like uh, simplest screen uh, when flying FPV just choose the simple mode so yeah this is a really really great nice little uh, OSD that just came out I'm gonna test it VRC already have tested it uh, they said there's no problem it works really really well and now I'm gonna test it on my Skywalker User manual is downloadable from the BEVRC site and it's a very simple, straightforward user manual. Lots of Chinglish mistakes, but very, very easy to understand, I would say, for those who like DIY type OSDs and stuff. So it shows the installation of connections. It also shows the uh, description of each and every port, which is very, very easy to understand. And you can actually easily connect everything. It's just uh, kind of plug and play setup. Uh, be very, very careful when it comes to power the OSD. You can power the OSD by current sensor or uh, separate power voltage and then you have to look for this jumper to be set on one and two uh, pin one and two so you can power it from the outer side that is a uh, separate battery uh, current sensor you have to install your own connectors they don't install it which is a good thing that you can install uh, xt60 or dean's connectors if you like so yeah pretty easy and uh, very easy straightforward to use osd for diyers of course not those who just want something like uh, a complete setup plug and play type of thing like Hornet OSD but I would say I would actually rather prefer this OSD because it has everything stabilization and auto return to home now let's see how the testing goes stay tuned and I'll keep you informed